The next question says, Pari reads a book with 88 pages. To complete the book, she needs to read twenty three pages more. How much? How much pages had she completed so far? Okay. The previous question we found out that how many pages are remaining, right? But in this question, they are saying that she is having a book with eighty-eight pages. In which, in order to complete the book, she has to read another 23 pages. So, we need to find out how many pages has she already completed. Okay. So, tens, ones, 88 minus 23. Now, here children, since 8 is greater than 3, there is no need of borrowing. Right. So, 8 minus 3, 7, 6, 5, 4 and so, 5 and 8 minus 2 is 7, 6. So, which means she has already completed 65 pages. Clear? Is it clear? Okay. So, the next question here is if A equals to 75, B equals to 36, C equals to 14. Okay. You need to find A minus B, then you need to find A minus C and then the last one is you need to find A minus B plus C. Okay. So, if the value is 75, B is 36, C is 14. So, what is the first one it is asking me? First one it says minus B which means 75 minus 36. So, 7, 5 minus 3, 6. So, since 5 is lesser than 6, borrow. Right. So, 15 minus 6 is 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. And since it has borrowed, so it will be reduced by one number. So, 6 minus 3 is 3. So, my answer is 39. Okay. The next one says that you need to find the answer A minus C which is 75 minus 14. So, let us try 75 minus 14. So, since 5 is greater than 4, we need not have to borrow. 5 minus 4 is 1, 7 minus 1 is 6. So, my answer here is 61. Okay. The last is little tricky because here we have a combination of subtraction and an addition, right? So, it says A minus B plus C. Whenever you get a question like this, first you need to add and whatever is the value, then you need to subtract from the given question, okay? So, first what we will do is B plus C. The value of B is 36 and the value of C is 14, right? So, we will do the adding 6 plus 4. So, 6 in mind, 4 in finger, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, 10, 1 is getting carried forward. So, 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 1, 5. 
So, which means that A's value is 75 minus this B plus C, we have got the answer 50. So, 75 minus 50. 5 minus 0 is 5 and 7 minus 5 is 2. So, my answer is 25. Is it clear children? Shall we proceed further? The next question is, if circle is 29 and square is 75, you need to find out square minus circle. Okay? So, how will you solve? First is 75, right? 75 minus and the circle is 29. So, since 5 is lesser than 9, we need to borrow. So, 15 minus 9, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And since we have given here 1, this will be reduced by a number. So, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, my answer is 46. Here comes the next question. Your next question says, complete the series. Okay. The first one is 32, 28, 24, dash. The next one is 49, 44, 39, dash. And the third one is 61, 56, 51, dash. And your options are 20, 34 and 46. Option B, 20, 35, 45. Option C, 18, 33, 48. Option D, 19, 32, 49. Okay. So, you need to complete the series. So, first we have to find out what is the difference value between the first and the number. So, 32 and 28. What is the difference value? 31, 30, 29, 28. So, here they are skipping minus 4. And what is the difference between 28 and 24? 11, 26, 25, 24. So, which means that they are doing a skip counting of 4 backward. Okay. So, 24, what will be the backward next 4 digit minus 24? 23, 22, 21 and 20. Clear? Coming to the next one. 49, 48, 47. 46, 45 and 44, which means it is minus 5. Again from 44 to 39, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39. Then here, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34. Very good. So, it will be 34. Okay. Coming to the next one, 61. 56, 60, 59, 58, 57, 56. So, again minus 5. So, from 56 to 51, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51. Then again, 50, 
So can we find this option anywhere children? Just see and tell me. Yes, it is option A. So A is my right answer. Is it clear? Shall we do some more? The next question for you is again little tricky. Let us see whether you are able to solve it or not. Okay. So the next question is which two sets are matching. Which two sets are matching? Okay. So the value of P is given as 389 minus 82. Value of Q is given as 795 minus 375 value of r is given as 227 minus 29 and value of s is given as 963 minus 656 okay and your options are p and q Option B, Q and R. Option C, R and S. And option D, P and S. Okay. So, what are we going to do? We need to individually solve each and then find out the matching pair. So starting with P here, since it is 3 children, so it will be H, T, O, which is nothing but 100, 10s and 1s. First one says 389 minus 82, so which means we will put a 0 for H, okay. So 9 minus 2 is 9, 8, 7, so 7 here, 8 minus 8 is what, 0. And 3 minus 0 is 3. So, which means my answer for P is 307. Okay. Coming to the next one. H, T, O. So, Q says 795 minus 375. So, 5 minus 5. 0, 9 minus 7, 2, and 7 minus 3, 6, 5, 4, 3. So, 4. Answer is 420. Okay. Coming to the next one. H, T, O. It is 227 minus 29. So, it will be 0 here. Okay. So, since 7 is lesser than 9, we need to borrow. It becomes 17. So, 17 minus 9, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. It becomes 2. So, here since it is borrowed, it will become 1. And you cannot subtract 1 from 2. So, again it has borrowed from 100. So, it becomes 11. So, 11, 10, 9 and since it has given 1 to the tens column, it becomes 1. So, 1 minus 0 is 1. So, this becomes 198. Okay. Coming to the last one, H, T, O, it says 963 minus 6.56. So, again 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. This has given 1, so it becomes minus 1. So, 5 minus 5 is 0 and 9 minus 6 is 3. So, the answer is 3, 0, 7. 
So, where do you think children? The pairs are matching. It is P and S, the first and the last one. So, which option do you think is the right answer? Very good. It is option D. So, is it easy for you to solve? Did you understand the question?